we gathered these young representatives in order to give you a different perspective and, as I said, to give them a voice. I think that this event today should simply um, explain to you and present to you a message from the region which can be specific, specific for the different countries from where we have participants today, but also a message uh, which should uh, present actually a strong cooperation, a strong uh, European identity which exists at least at the minds of the new young generations uh, who are active there and who are supporting these processes. First of all, the, um, the uh, framework we are working in as far as enlargement policy is concerned. You do know that there are a number of people, among them uh, large parts of the European population, who think that this enlargement from 15 to 27 went a little bit too fast. There is an opinion in plenty of circles which uh, would say we need a little bit of a break. Second point, we have the Lisbon Treaty, just has been mentioned now. Uh, there are uh, uh, governments who say without a uh, Lisbon Treaty, without an EU functioning well, enlargement doesn't make sense. And finally, there's also the economic financial crisis, which is not without impact on the, on the enlargement policy. Now, on the rather more positive side, uh, the uh, enlargement, uh, the fifth enlargement, has been an overall success, we can say. It went uh, well. We have uh, celebrated uh, 20 years uh, for, celebrated, uh, commemorated 20 years fall of the Berlin Wall. The fifth enlargement took place uh, five years ago. Uh, the so called, still so called new member states are doing uh, fairly well, and the European Union continues to function. So we, on our side, uh, feel that uh, the enlargement policy would have to continue. Of course, it has to be carefully managed.